Good morning everyone, happy Sunday as I'm recording this. I'm just about to light this candle that we picked up about a month ago now actually. It is a pumpkin one from HomeSense, pumpkin pie. And now I've done all the kitchen nicely, actually I'm just gonna trim the wicks. Thought I'd light it up, but how are you all? It's been a little minute since I have done a home vlog, been a very busy September and I'm actually gonna have a very busy October. This video is very kindly sponsored by Readly today. More on them later, but thank you so much, Readly. Absolutely love them, and they are going to play a big part of my prep today, holiday prep, because I'm actually going to Greece next week. But as you're watching this, I would have already been and come back. I don't think I'm gonna vlog. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Okay, let's have that burning. Lovely. And the little lid is so cute. However, it has just recently come apart where the hole is just too big for the little spikes. I need to get some wood glue in there, I think. Stick it on. But anyway, I don't think I'm going to vlog. I'm, I'm kind of undecided. It's one of those trips that I think I'm gonna just focus on Instagram stories, reels, and YouTube shorts. I haven't fully decided because I'm gonna be having a meeting with my business coach on Tuesday and we'll decide looking at the itinerary if it's sort of vlog worthy for you because I'm with 33 other people and it's a press trip. I'm actually going up the night before, so I'm going up on Wednesday. So I'm getting my nails done Wednesday morning and then I'll be heading up to the airport and staying overnight. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's my Disney advanced dining reservation day, 60 days in advance on Thursday, meaning I have to be on my computer at 11 o'clock. Well, some people have told me get online at 10.45. And my lovely friend Sophie just messaged this morning saying to try at half nine because apparently her day, everything was opening up and whatever at all different times. So that makes me a little bit nervous, but I am going to be in my hotel room with decent Wi-Fi, get it all done. And then I fly at 1.40. So I was hoping that's just the right time for me to get the ADRs and then go and check into the airport. So fingers crossed for me. If I don't get what we want, then it is what it is. Trying to get your Disney dining reservations is kind of like trying to get tickets to Taylor Swift or like Harry Styles or something. It's like, it's brutal out there. You've got to be so quick on so many devices. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Um, so anyway, I'm really looking forward to Greece. And the point of this video is that I thought I'd bring you along for a cozy, cleaning, tidying, organization, holiday prep kind of day. I know you guys love these chit chatty vlogs and showing you sort of what I get up to. So first thing on my to-do list was to get this kitchen cleaned because Benji made a lovely meal last night and we were too tired Saturday night, had a few drinkies and went to bed. We actually got into bed at eight o'clock. I don't think we fell asleep until like 11, but we did get into bed at eight, read my magazines on my Readly app, read my book, played my Switch, my little evening routine, it was very lovely. But anyway, if you're new around here, hello, my name is Brogan. I make home, lifestyle, travel, and Disney vlogs. So if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. We'd love to have you here. Benji is currently still asleep upstairs. It's now about 8 a.m. And I'm just trying to decide what I wanna do next. I think I'll get dressed and do my skincare and morning routine. I also have my eyebrows microbladed this week. So I'm on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, day six, she said, that the first week they will change slightly in color and they'll go darker and then they'll go slightly different and they'll change. But basically they look like this right now and I'm absolutely obsessed. My face and skin does feel a little bit dry. So I think I'm gonna put a bit of balm on. Um, I'll do my skincare routine, but I'll, I'm trying to avoid the brow area. And yeah, that's why I haven't washed my hair for days because I'm trying not to get them wet. <laughs> but I think I, I'm at a point now where like, yeah, this is this is not cute. Let's do the day. Let's get dressed, do my skincare, drink more of my water. I did not drink enough water yesterday. One of the first things I want to do is I've brought down my bins from my office and the spare room, and I'm gonna take them out because they are full to the brim. So I'm gonna do that first. Kitchen's looking so nice now. Oh, that fresh feeling. Dishwasher's on. I do need to do the utility room washing, our bedroom 
so much to do today, but I'm feeling motivated. I've been up and, you know, first hour of my day has already been pretty good. So my next task is I have an overflow of cardboard once again. And this is because I get lots of PR parcels and things that get sent to me. So sometimes it builds up a little bit, but I'm just gonna flatten a lot of this so that we can take it to the dump or try and fit it in our recycling. We'll see how we go. Ta-da! I've managed to squeeze it all into the recycling bin. I just have one more here, which is actually a PR parcel from Big Potato Games. I'm a brand ambassador for them, so I have new games arrive. This one's called Chicken vs Hot Dog. I'll talk about this another day. Right, the other family members are now awake, and the reason she didn't go out this morning is because she did already go out once, very early this morning with Ben. Oh, I, well, I was awake <laughs> most of the night last night. So, at like what? Half five, I took her out. Yeah. And she refused at first <laughs> because it was raining. Yeah, she refused this morning. Princess. <laughs> um, she did not want to go out this morning. She went to the toilet, so she's fine. Wow. I will take her out on a walk in a bit, but I've just got out the shower. Look at this really ratty sheep. Like love baby. it, don't you? You love the sheep. A croissant. It's the sheep. <laughs> Look at that tail wagging. Waggy waggy. Waggy waggy tail. In our bed in the morning. That's a little routine. She gets up, does a wee in breakfast, and then always comes back into bed with one of us. This is my very comfy, casual, day at home outfit. I threw on this shirt, did not realise how creased it is. And my Lululemon leggings, so. Oh, and I've got new slippers, Ugg ones. Oh my gosh, I finally invested and treated myself to some Ugg slippers. They were actually a good price. I got them on a website called Tower London for £55, which I've seen them double that. So I was happy. I'll find a link and leave it if I can, but I'll show you them. They're downstairs, I'll show you later. Right, now this is a hot mess, um, but let's do my hair. Oh, I do like these lights, I'm not gonna lie. Blimey, that's bright. We did this little setup from Ikea for me. It's not perfect. I still need to change the actual desk area, but why fix something that's not broken? And here is some of my holiday prep that I'll go through with you in a minute. But first things first, let's do my hair. I've had my breakfast and I'm now back upstairs in the spare room and I want to do my holiday prep, start organizing some stuff. Well, I did some stuff yesterday, but I'm gonna go through the clothes and bits and bobs and show you where we're at. Bonnie just wants to play. She's still a bit wet, bless her, from a walk. And it's now sunny. The sun is now coming out, typically, but we didn't know that, did we? We didn't know. So as part of my holiday prep, I have downloaded some magazines to read on Readly. It's a magazine subscription app with over 7,000 magazine and newspaper titles to read. It's 9 99 a month, but you can cancel at any time. And I actually have an exclusive offer where you can try it out for two months for free. There's a link down below. Definitely worth trying it. See if you like it. See if there's some magazines that you will enjoy but I'm pretty confident there is something for everyone because there is everything that you could ever imagine on here. They have everything from house renovations, interior design, cooking, women's health, I like the dog magazine, I like Happy Full, uh, there's loads that I enjoy. So I wanted to show you my version. So this is what mine looks like. One account can actually have up to five different profiles, so you can share it with your friends and family. So this is the Discover tab, and on here you can see sort of what I would quite like based on what I've previously read. Then if I click on my content, here are some of my favorites. I have a big mix, as you can see, and there are so many features I love about Readly. So the biggest one for when I travel is the fact I can download titles. So I've already downloaded a few things. I was also just flicking through Hello because there were some beautiful photos of the Queen, actually. So this is what it looks like. You can have it landscape or portrait. And then you can just flick. You can zoom in and zoom out. There are clickable links as well within the magazines. And you can actually bookmark and save different pages. Here are where my bookmarks are. I actually just saved this in BBC Cook. And it's some really cute ideas for Halloween. Thought these would make really nice little snacks. Look at that. So good. So yes, I've saved that so I can come back to it as and when I need it. So you can also use the search function. I've showed this before, but obviously I love all the wedding magazines. So it brings up 
wedding stuff if you're looking for that but they have all these different categories like i said there'll be two months for free link in the description if you want to check it out i do actually pay for it myself as a customer i love it i think it's brilliant it is hands down my favorite app on my ipad just because there's so much choice for me it's so good for downtime in the evenings in bed or in the morning or like this morning when i was eating breakfast but it's even better when i travel because i just love that there's so much variety and i can have so many different titles at the click of my finger and if there is a particular magazine that you love you can actually go through and look at the back catalogue where there are usually so many others from previous editions and months. Big thank you to Readly for sponsoring this video today. Do let me know if you've tried it or if you're going to try it and um, how you're getting on if you already do own it. But yeah, it's really, really, really great. So I've got my magazines downloaded on here. Obviously I'll need to make sure that I charge my iPad. And the only other thing I'll need to do maybe the day before is download some TV or, or um, movies I might want to watch. The flight is actually fairly short to Greece, like three and a half hours. So we'll see how I go. But um, yeah, that's my first thing. So I've got my magazines downloaded in my holiday prep. I'm going to click that, download magazines. The next thing on my to-do list is I think we might pop out to the shops quickly. Now, Benji's mum very kindly gave me lots of euros that she had and I've got quite a lot of change. So it was a really nice gift because that's some like cash that I can treat myself to something nice while I'm away. But there's actually quite a lot of um, coins. So, and it's quite heavy. So I think there's about 20 euros in here. Oh gosh, I'm throwing it everywhere. I was actually thinking about exchanging the coins into some notes just so it's lighter and easier to carry maybe. And getting out a little bit more cash just so I have enough to cover myself. To be honest, on this press trip, they pretty much cover everything for me, which is really Really nice but it's always nice to have your own money and cash so I'm gonna do that I also want to pick up some snacks for the journey up to London and the flight and just generally some like cereal bars and stuff just so I always have something in my bag sometimes on these trips we go out for a whole day and I cannot tell you the amount of times where I've like felt a little bit groggy or I get a little bit hangry and I just need something to like <laughs> take the edge off so I always make sure now that I pack snacks so I want to get snacks sort out the euros and and I think that's it because it's a Sunday I want to go and do that now and then when we come back we can carry on organizing but uh, yeah let's go and pop to the shops and sort those things out guys do you remember if you watched the Brighton vlog I bought this dress and I love it well it's gone into the sale and they have it in my size in the other color I think this one is longer though it feels longer this is the same size as the 14 but it feels bigger. I don't know. Yeah, so this is the one I already own. That's definitely shorter on the length and it feels just a little bit more. Why is that? Why? It's the same dress. Why? Is that definitely a 14? Surely. Yeah, it is. This one is so much more comfortable though. I don't understand. They can't change my coins because they only have notes here for euros. So couldn't do that didn't get anything in next they had loads of stuff in the sale i just wanted to see if they had my dress in the beige but it just didn't fit the same as the black one i don't know why it was longer and more baggy and i just wasn't sure so anyway i left that and now what else do i need i need some snacks i am so glad that m s is still selling candy floss grapes so i'm gonna get a packet of these and also i found this card that i'm gonna give to michael the person that's invited me to greece um because it's like a travel card just as a thank you card basically look at this get my grapes oh my gosh it is so warm now i don't want to complain but this weather today um i'm gonna walk down to asda now to get some snacks and bits for the travel and journey and my bags i'm back home went to asda got this little dress i think i might have to try these on for you actually it's a very comfy loose flowy chuck it on with a pair of tights winter dress and then i got this which is more of like a smock dress that i thought i could wear to greece or well, and or good for animal kingdom as well so it's like a leopardy print with like bits of pink and brown in there it was really comfy i love smock dresses i have fair few from new look but this is the first one i got from asda so i got that and that they were 16 pound each and then i picked up my snack of choice i'm going to take with me to greece is a pack of these i actually got a sample 
randomly in London, you know, when you have people that give out bars, you know, just as promotional purposes. And I loved it. So I've been buying them since. Um, they're a bit more pricey than some of the other sort of cereal bars, but they're great. So I've got those and I've got my candy floss grapes. And I got these to chuck in my bag as well. So I'm all stocked up now. I saw this book and I could not help myself. Yeah, I actually read the first couple of pages. I was just standing there like quite hooked. So that was £4.50, as is a really great place for books. So I don't know if that's new, but I haven't seen it before or anyone talking about it, so got that. Got the card I showed you. Got this little clip, and I actually had this. Had it for ages, loved it. And then I broke it. So when I saw they had another one in Asda, it's actually Claire's, I picked it up because I love it. And then I also, last but not least, picked up a new mascara to try. It's the Kind and Free Rimmel. They have a whole range with mascara, powder, tinted moisturiser, concealer, that kind of thing. They have like a whole collection. So I thought I'd try the new mascara because I'm in need of a new one. So that's that. So that's everything I picked up. Couldn't do the Euros, um, but that's okay. So now we're gonna do our sandwiches. And I just put up a reel on Instagram showing this little crimpit device thing that, was it you that found it, Benj? Yeah. Right, so this is the little thing. It was 14 99 on Amazon. I will leave it linked for you. It's a pretty simple device, I guess, but it, it's designed to fit with thins. So we have Warburton thins, but someone told me this morning that like Audi do their own and stuff. And you basically pop your bread in, add your fillings, but you don't want to overflow it put the lid on, crimp it down, and it makes these perfect little pockets that you can then toast or air fry or grill or whatever. So yeah, we've been enjoying these as like a quick lunch. Um, bit of cheese, Benji's got chorizo, I've got chicken. There you go, it makes a perfect little pocket. And you can put it in the toaster, but I like mine in the air fryer. I know it's a bit rogue and lots of you are gonna be like, ooh, no, but these are my favorite crisps at the moment. The prawn cocktail quavers. I will hear no slander against these because they are amazing. With my candy floss grapes and my little pocket with cheese and chicken in, lovely. It also came with this little recipe card and if you have a look here on the right, you can make desserts with it as well. With like marshmallows and, and fruit or banana and fruit. No, banana is a fruit. Banana and marshmallows with some Nutella or peanut butter. I was about to get started on my uh prep or carry on with my holiday stuff but I'm just gonna sit out here and play with Bonnie for a bit because it's so lovely she's brought me croissant this is her ultimate favorite toy that still survived quite well to be fair hasn't it it has survived quite well um, and I've just had a call from my brother and he's gonna pop over for a cup of tea or chit chat or whatever he's passing by so that's nice okay my brother is still here or with Benj at the moment and we wanted to sit out in the garden because it was kind of sunny but all the cushions were wet from when it rained this morning so I put them out to sort of dry. I need to chuck these ones out as well. There's so many. Well, that was lovely. It's now four o'clock. So he was here for like hour, hour and a half, something like that. I've just got off the phone to Gary and while we were chit chatting away, I was trying on all of my different outfits. Now, I don't have the full itinerary for this trip yet. I thought I'd show you the dresses I picked up in Asda. So this was the first one. It is quite baggy. I'm not wearing a bra actually. So maybe it'll be different once I put a bra, bra on. But I just loved the colours and how comfy it was. And I did envision this with tights and flats for the winter. But now I'm thinking, actually, this could be quite a good dress for Greece. I'm not sure if the longer sleeves will make me too hot. Because it will be, well, in the evenings it'll be chillier. So it could be a good evening dress, actually. Chuck it on, pair of flip-flops. I feel quite comfortable in this. So this is the first one. Let me go and try on the animal print show you that. And then this is the other dress. I was just trying it on with a bag and shoes to see what it looked like again i'm not wearing a bra this is kind of perfect i can wear this in the day or at night so i've even tried on my swimming costumes i've got two i did chuck in a bikini but i'm just not feeling confident enough so i'm just going to put that in my reject pile for now and then a couple of options for traveling and then there are the dresses and i think i've got a jumpsuit in there as well that have made it to uh potentially stay i don't have loads of great options if i'm being honest like what would i wear for a waterfall absolutely none of these bonnie and i are out on a little evening walk it's so nice 
I love this weather. I'm going to miss these evenings that are light and cool, but not too hot. <laughs> I can't believe it's October and it's like this. It's lovely. So I've shoved on my gym gear and my uh, Crocs. And yeah, we're just going to probably do an hour. Benji's going to start dinner while we're out. And we've got a HelloFresh. I don't know which one. And then I'll get back to organising my packing. But yeah, I'm really tired. Tacos. Uh, watching the cricket. Watching the cricket. England, Pakistan. Great. I'm just going to get a treat for this one because she was so good in the park. Were you good, Bonnie? Here we go. Oh, bye. <laughs> Here are my little tacos. I'm just going to fold them up and shove them straight in, I think. <laughs> Dinner was very lovely. Going to have a few little moons. This is the most elite flavour, the golden blonde chocolate. Oh my gosh, incredible. But they take five minutes to sort of defrost, so... While they do, we are finally going to bring the pillows in, the what cushions. Do with drying overnight a little bit more. Well, then let's let them dry overnight. Yeah, we'll stack them up in here, though. Oh. Oh, wow. Um, oh, soggy. We have just done another wash, uh, hung it up, put it on. Teamwork. Wait, it's the dreamwork. And Ben just just fixing that pumpkin lid for me. Oh, she just got out of bed to get her sheep and has got back into bed with it. Oh my god! So I told you that last night we got into bed at eight o'clock, and tonight it is half past seven. Can you even see that? Half seven. We're in bed. So I'm going to read some of my magazines on Readly. I'm also going to pick up playing Disney Dreamlight Valley and probably try and read some of my book because I'm kind of halfway through, just over. I'm reading It Happened One Summer and I would like to finish it before I go to Greece because I'd quite like to start a new book when I'm in Greece. What I'm going to do is pick up vlogging a bit tomorrow too because I did not make a good dent in the packing and holiday prep stuff that I wanted to do. I still have lots on my to-do list. Got a bit distracted with my brother and Gary calling and you know, I spent longer in the sh at the shops than I anticipated. So we'll carry on vlogging a bit tomorrow. Be a bit more of a work day. I was planning on editing this vlog and the London vlog, but you know, I'll multitask. So I'll see you again in the morning and we'll carry on packing. Good morning. This is my little setup today. I've got all the drinks. I fancied a coffee, but then I thought it'd be good to get some vitamin C in me. So I poured an orange juice and then I thought, hmm, probably should drink some water too. So I have water. And then I've got a piece of toast, a bit of porridge. Looks a bit dry actually, but it's just because it sat there for a minute. Um, and my grapes. And I'm just flicking through this edition of Happy Full because I've got two to catch up with. Okay, back to packing. I, it's actually now... Half past 12, I've been, oh my gosh, so busy today, guys. There's so much work to do. Uh, but yeah, so as you can see, this is my brain when it comes to packing. So what I have done is I always start with the simple stuff, which is beautifully laid out here. Let's ignore the clothes. So my first instinct is to always do toiletries because I just find it the easiest. And I actually have a drawer now that has all of my minis and I just replenish things and decide what I want. Let me just open this. Okay, here we go. So I have already done all of this. So I'll show you this in detail when I do a future pack with me video, probably for the next trip, to be honest. This trip is shorter and this is not quite so interesting, but um, everything in there, shampoo, conditioner, cleanser, hair stuff, body, shower gel, deodorant, perfume, hair bits, you get the gist. So I have actually put the nail varnish that's on my toes, but I do want to redo it. Um, so I've got everything I need in there. I always carry my sun cream separately because I have had explosions before. So that's in this little one. And then I've also got separate pouches for hair stuff. So in here, I've got a travel mirror, hair brushes, hair accessories, clips, and a towel. And then in this little pouch, I've got a portable travel hairdryer from GHD and a pair of hair straighteners. So that's good. That's all nice and compact. Everything is always in little pouches. Even down to this, this is a bikini bag. So if I have a wet swimming cozy on the day I'm traveling home, I can pop it in here. And in here, I've also folded down in small my towel, which is from Dock and Bay. It's lovely. It's one of those like microfiber 
easy to pack and travel with towels. So I've got that zipped up in this little pouch. This is hard one handed. And in here is my little travel um, jacket. So I pack this in case it rains. It's one of those lightweight, easy, nice jackets. So I don't think I'm going to need it necessarily, but it's so flat and easy to travel with. So they're the sort of main things. Oh, and there's my little travel first aid kit. Tech stuff is starting to pile up here. And then I do the clothes, which is what I was doing yesterday. Is I tried on all these outfits and I just chuck everything down that I like or I think I'm going to want, along with a bunch of pyjamas, underwear, bras, anything that's coming out the wash that I want to wear on the trip rather than right now. Got my hand luggage bag that I've started here. I've got this bag that I thought is really good for sort of day trips and stuff because I don't mind if it gets dirty. You can see it's sort of had a lot of love. But I'm not sure if that's coming yet. And other things. I've got, you know, bits and bobs in there. Shoes. Dumped a load of shoes. Packing cubes are out here. So I think the next thing for me to do is cut out any labels like this that I haven't cut out yet that are really annoying. I think I've got one in here as well. Yeah, they, these are no good. They're so annoying. So we we'll get rid of those and fold up the outfits and pile them out. So then I can decide which ones are going to allocate for which days. Oh, look at my pin wall, guys. <laughs> I love my pin wall. I have been adding to it as well over the last few weeks but anyway so that's my strategy so I'm going to take a little break from editing and working I've got a couple of voice memos that have come through in my group chats on whatsapp so I'm going to play them out loud whilst I fold the clothes let's go So ignore the t-shirt, I'm going to need a v-neck with this, but I've sort of established my travel outfit. I got these trousers from Tesco in the sale a while ago, I think I showed them in a vlog actually. They are like smart-ish jogging bottoms. I think this is going to be my travel outfit. <laughs> I think I've actually lost the plot, I've tried on so many clothes. Is this cute? I kind of think this is cute. This is nice and light and comfortable. A lot of my clothes need ironing as well, I figured. Like, they all need a little bit of love. Um, yeah, I, th I think at this point I really am going down a bit of a spiral of I, ju I just don't know. I'm also trying to do a bit too much today because my emails are coming in really fast. I have to still edit my London vlog. I've started it, but we need to finish that today. That's got to be a goal today. I need to finish this vlog. It's now quarter to six and I've just finished doing my London vlog that I'm going to upload tomorrow. And I'm also about to put my out of office on for my emails and also for my cameo videos that I make so that nobody books in while I'm away. I still need to get my emails to zero. I still need to clear out the washing and I still need to decide what I'm doing vlog wise. Like if I'm vlogging, I honestly don't think I'm going to vlog and there's loads of reasons for this. Or I may do a mini vlog. I'm not really sure yet. So this is my to be read collection these are the books that i haven't yet read and i asked on instagram today which one you thought i should take on my trip with me because i obviously want to read them all at some point but i know that the colleen hoover one especially verity is a bit deep and heavy maybe midnight library as well so i want to something light and easy and these are the ones that came up the most recommended so i basically have to go through each one decide which one i want i'm thinking maybe beach read um could be like you know holiday rom-com or a lot of you think I'm gonna love the unhoneymooners and my friend Alice said that I'd like this too so kind of thinking that but I need to decide and put that in my sort of packing area and this is where we're at with packing I haven't quite finalized clothes normally I do the clothes pretty early on and get them in the packing cubes but actually I've decided to start putting things in the case just so I know exactly what I'm taking so it's starting to look like this and then on this side I have shoes and the beauty and hair bits like I said it's seven o'clock now I'm absolutely pooped I want to spend the evening with Ben she's just made a really nice meal I think it's chicken and rice and peas and stuff it's a hello fresh I hope you've enjoyed this vlog thank you again to Readly for sponsoring like I said I will leave my two months free linked below for you if you want to go and check that out and try it for yourself thank you again for watching if you've got this far in the vlog please leave a nice friendly comment please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you again in my next ones bye <laughs>